Brexit is not a done deal, we have everything to fight for. A complete disregard for the evidence, the vilification of expert opinion and a reckless insistence on putting self-interest above the good of the country, the parallels between those who dismiss climate change and the government's approach to Brexit are impossible to ignore. Both are rooted in a vision of Britain that is backward-looking, isolated and small. One utterly at odds with the cooperation, inclusion and confidence that we spend so much time telling ourselves are the bedrock of our national sense of self. Most people, whether they voted leave or remain, just wanted a better, more secure future. Such a future is not inevitable, as long as we are prepared to challenge the convenient lies on which it is based. By standing up for free movement, for example, and celebrating not just the economic benefits but the ways in which it vastly enriches our communities and culture, too. By standing up to those in government intent on stirring up fear, hatred and division. And by calling out the myth that free movement is somehow to blame for decades of neglect and underinvestment in our public services, housing and young people. There is no Brexit dividend. Only a government looking for any excuse to press ahead with an agenda of further and deeper austerity, deregulation and economic and social coercion. Opinion a people's vote on the final Brexit deal is a necessity opinion you don't smoke cannabis to get high. I just want to get rid of the pain of Ms. Theresa May's backdrop collapses again and prime ministerial recurring nightmare hundreds died needlessly after being prescribed wrong painkillers at Gosport Hospital I don't believe anyone was voting for this two years ago during the referendum. They were not voting for a hard border in Ireland or the risk of severely weakened environmental protections. Most people, whether they voted leave or remain, just wanted a better, more secure future. I wish I could say that I thought there was a majority today in Parliament who were brave or principled enough to give them that. Unfortunately I can't. But if the referendum result taught us anything, it's surely that politics is so much more than Westminster. Each and every one of us has a voice and democracy didn't end on June 23 two years ago. It's still happening and it's how we make a future that's the one we deserve, radical, hopeful and positive. Inside Parliament. Many MPs are working cross-party to demand a people's vote on the final Brexit deal because we are increasingly worried by the direction in which our country is being taken. Beyond Parliament, tens of thousands of people will be joining today's march for a people's vote backed by the voices of millions more who also want to be heard. If you can join us today, you will be sending a powerful message to Parliament. And throughout the summer there will be other opportunities to join the call for putting the needs of our country first. Brexit is a big deal but it is not a done deal, and we have everything to fight for. More, thousands of anti-Brexit protesters to march on Westminster to demand second vote more, a people's vote on the final Brexit deal is a necessity.